Is Kadarius Tony about to help the Chiefs win a Super Bowl? Well, maybe. He already helped them win a playoff game. I want to talk about what he did against Jacksonville, how he was able to make some plays, and then maybe what that means going forward. Uh, could that potentially mean that Kadarius Tony could be a significant piece of a Super Bowl run, perhaps? He was Pro Football Focus's second-rated player on offense for Kansas City in this game. Number one was obviously Travis Kelsey, who I made a video about as well. But I want to talk about Tony just because, again, he's such a unique factor. Obviously, a first-round pick uh, from the New York Giants. They gave up on him very quickly, but he still just shows these flashes that like no other player plays like him. It's very unique. Uh, so let's start off with this play. The play itself is actually very simple for Tony. I mean, it's a zone coverage play. Really, he's just a check down option. He's just a guy that you throw the ball to if nothing else gets open. Mahomes takes the snap. He's going to look down the field. Maybe he could fire down the field, but it's a bit risky. He doesn't want to take that chance here already in field goal range on a first down. He's going to decide to play it safe here and hit Kadarius Tony. But you're thinking, okay, if he hits Kadarius Tony, realistically, uh, the defense back 31 for Jacksonville should just turn around and tackle him, right? Like, how are you really going to be able to gain too many yards here? But as you see, I mean, Tony just somehow fights out of that and really is, I mean, it's not easy to bring him down. One of the things that's underrated about Tony's game is he is a surprisingly physical player. You know, everyone talks about the shiftiness and listen, uh, the guy's incredibly shifty, but he's also a physical player and can definitely run guys over and he gets maybe, you know, six yards out of a three-yard gain. That might not seem like much, but you know what? When it comes to postseason time and every yard matters, it definitely is a factor. Like, this one's another example of, like, just simple stuff. And that's really how to use Tony. Like, again, will they maybe throw a bomb to Tony at some point? I don't know. You could consider it. I, I wouldn't hate it, to be honest, or at least try to get him in open space down the field. But it feels like the main way they use him is just as, like, a screen pass option or as a check down option of they're, they're just kind of thinking, hey, if we have to throw the ball in a way where we're not pushing the ball down the field, might as well have the ball be in Kadarius Tony's hands. That's probably why they traded for him. I get the logic behind it. So Mahomes takes a snap. He is going to just make a quick throw to Tony. And again, right here, realistically, he should probably go down like basically right about now, right? But he's going to show off his shiftiness and his physicality here. Watch, again, not in a massive way. He's not turning uh, these plays into touchdowns, but he turns a one-yard gain into a five-yard gain. And having a few plays like that in the game is valuable. Now, I'm absolutely sure that, you know, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs fans are hoping for more. They're hoping that they get more than just that. But getting that is still important. To me, this play was interesting and maybe even a little bit telling as well, where it's going to be. So this was the Chad Henney situation, and this is the Chad Henney play. This is what they ran uh, on fourth down against Cleveland, where that was that big play then. But what's interesting is that they don't have Tyreek Hill now, right? And the whole po point of that play was to get the ball in Tyreek Hill's hands. They don't have Tyreek Hill at this point. What they do have is the guy who I have circled, Kadarius Tony. That is the route he's running, a route towards the outside, just a quick route. And you see that, you know, with uh, defensive backs playing relatively far off, the hope here is that you can, you know, uh, potentially get him open. Also, just a little bit of editing in real time. Uh, I kind of screwed up the graphic, but you see that uh, the guy who I have covering uh, uh, Tony on this play, it's actually the guy a little bit lower, uh, a little bit further back. He's the one who's covering Tony, so sorry about that. Graphic is incorrect. But you see that right when this play begins, because of how they were playing a little bit off, Tony is able to get just easily open on this play. So for Henny, this is an easy throw for him to make. Again, is this schemed open? Yeah. And even you see Henny makes this throw and, you know, Tony doesn't get like a ton with it or anything. But to me, what's more fascinating about that play than the play itself is more so just the, the decision behind it of Andy Reid had to call that play. He didn't know Tony was going to get schemed wide open. He was hoping it would happen, obviously, but he didn't know that. And he was willing to risk it maybe being better defense and Tony being the guy who had to come through on a key, key third down and short. And while it ended up being pretty easy, if they did not convert on that play, there's a very real chance that for Kansas City, maybe they don't win this football game. I know that seems crazy, but if you think about it, they scored a touchdown on this drive. If they had to give the ball back, you know, Jacksonville now gets an opportunity uh, in better field position. Who knows what happens in this scenario? So, you know, in uh, a very important play in the game, they're trusting that, you know, number 19. Now let's go over to this play. What's going to happen here is he is lined up 
as a halfback, which, you know, when he played in Florida, this is something that they had him do at times was play halfback. I wonder if Kansas City will do that a little bit. Again, Pacheco's doing fine. You have guys who can run the ball well, but have him be the halfback, not just for running plays, but for stuff like this, where you can flip him the ball and run sort of a, a screen pass type play. I, I can't, I'm not sure if this counted as a rush or a pass. doesn't really matter either way, but, uh, you know, you have him kind of, it's essentially a sort of screen pass type play. Watch as Mahomes is going to flip the ball to Tony. And you see right here, again, I like pausing it in certain spots and saying, how many yards do you think that he gets out of this? If it's a good tackle, probably not many more than what he has currently at the 16-yard line. I don't know. It's getting to the, the 14 to 13-yard line. Well, watch him be able to just power through. And he nearly somehow got a touchdown out of that. He stepped out just a little bit before. But that's still an incredible play from Tony, and this is what Tony is capable of with the ball in his hands. Even at the NFL level, he can find ways to make this stuff happen. Again, how much value is there in that? Is that worth a first-round pick? I don't know. But is it worth a third-round pick? I would say definitely yes, and he's you know certainly made the Chiefs feel pretty smart about themselves for making that draft pick. And then just other stuff, like not even necessarily, again, showing these incredible highlight real-level plays. You keep thinking one of these days he's going to break one off and get a 70-yard touchdown. It could happen. It could happen next week for all we know. But something like this where it's, you know, just the setup itself, when defensive backs play off, it's almost like they have a check on every play of, hey, if you see this situation, run what you see on the screen. Just a quick wide receiver screen to Tony. Mahomes is going to, uh, you know, look like was, there's supposed to be a play action, but Mahomes immediately didn't even, he didn't even bother. He just threw the ball to Tony. At this spot, there's a little bit of space. Tony's going to make the most out of that space. Again, doesn't get a touchdown out of it or anything, but basically gets what's there, plus maybe a yard or two. And the fact that you just have those kind of free six-yard plays at your disposal is something the Chiefs are using to their benefits. So the question is, again, is this going to be a major factor down the road? Do you think that Tony could potentially, you know, build off of this and find more ways to be successful than just these kind of specialty type plays? I think that it's possible, but I also think that right now, just having him be this guy, there is value behind. He doesn't have to do too much more than that for what the Chiefs gave off of him. He, you know, he would have to do more than that for uh, to make up for what the the Giants gave up for him. But you know, uh, that's already that ship has sailed. He's also doing, uh, you know, playing special teams for them as a kick returner. So who knows? There definitely is the potential of him coming in and having a big impact. But even now, he's coming in and having an okay impact, which is just a fascinating story as a guy who gets given up on as a first round pick from his former team so quickly. But to come in and still, again, is he living up to the first round potential? Absolutely not. Not at this point. But is he still being a, a solid contributor for a championship contending team? Yes, he absolutely is. And so that's fascinating to me. But that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.